Hi guys, it's Amy and you have found Amy Loves Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on any of my videos. I really do appreciate your time. This week has been an interesting week as we got back into the babysitting routine. Um, my granddaughter, uh, I've not, we've not had her for a couple, I want to say a couple months, um, except for here and there because um, her mom was off of work still to have our grandson and so uh, she went back to work this week and we started watching them both for the first time my kids were six and a half years apart so to you know have two littles at the same time is going to be interesting um but we're two days in and doing all right so far so <laughs> um okay so i do have one finished project for to share with you <laughs> for to share and it's kind of one of those, again, where you go, nailed it. Did you really? <laughs> um, so here's a picture of this sweater that uh, is the pattern that I was working on. I love this sweater. I have held on to this photo for a long time, and uh, not just the photo, but the pattern, um, knowing that I was going to work on this. And sometimes you want to make a pattern with the exact same colors, like this you know, the yellow and white here that is just so gorgeous. Um, but sometimes you don't want to copycat. So that's kind of always something that I'm deciding on when I'm making a project is, you know, do I have a similar yarn so that I know that it'll come out looking similar, you know, um, or am I just going off of the fibers that she's using or, the, or they're using or whatever. And so mine's going to look different because of the colors or they striped and I didn't stripe at all, or I changed up the amount of stripes, which you'll see. So making something look sort of random um, is one way of going about things, um, but then very being very symmetrical is another way that my brain works. So when I was contemplating making this project with yarn that's in my stash, because again, I don't need to buy any more yarn. Um, and again, my purpose is to show you what I've done with the yarn that I have in my stash. I wanted to make this sweater. However, the only colors that I thought I kind of had look like Gryffindor colors. <laughs> We've got the, the maroon or the burgundy with a mustard yellow. And I have so much of this, these two colors, um, but I don't want a Gryffindor sweater. So I also had a little bit of, I have one skein of blue and one skein of this, a skein and a half of this um, kind of rust color, it's kind of orangey rust. Um, and so, you know, I'm already making something that I'm not quite sure of the size because this sweater is set to be oversized. I have a hard enough time fitting clothing. You know, I'm kind of between sizes. I need to lose a few pounds to be in one size and I'm a little bit smaller than the next size up. So it's difficult to dress myself these days. <laughs> so here I found this pattern for this sweater that's like so cute on her and oversized. And so I kind of um, had a little bit uncertainty on how it was going to fit. So when I was measuring the sleeve, so, you know, the, you're supposed to do a certain number of rows. So I went for the large size. So um, to get to the large size, you know, I did not do a gauge, of course. So, of course, my size is not what their size is. So that was already par for the course. <laughs> um, but I start to decide on stripes. How many colors, how many rows of this color? I, I do some and then I measure it out and I go, okay, well, four rows will get me this many inches or whatever. And so I'm trying to determine symmetry between the length of the sweater where I'm not even sure how long I'm going to make it. You know what I mean? Like I have too many variables to solve for X and I didn't fill in enough of the variables. So I'm like, mm, it could be this, it could be that. So, um, so the other thing is that when I was measuring the sleeve, then I was measuring it from the sleeve seam. See, so this is a shirt that fits normally. And that's where you measure from your sleeve. Only this was to be oversized. So then I start to measure, am I here? Am I here? Where's it supposed to be? But then I realize when I put the, you make the body of the sweater first 
And so the sleeve comes down because it's oversized. So now I'm already off of my measurement by this much. And then I don't know how many stripes, you know, my, I can't get the stripes in the arm to match the stripes in the shirt. And so with just the two stripes as she's standing there, it looks like it matches right the way she's lined up her stripes. But I didn't get that in mind. Um, I also decided to just toss the blue out because it was too much of a variable. So I, I just worked with the three colors and I kind of like the sweater. I mean, um, I didn't do like normal. I, because my tension was different than hers and I didn't do a gauge. Um, I did use a J mill, a six millimeter hook, and this is a worsted weight yarn. So, um, you know, I didn't necessarily do this the same amount of um, rows on the shoulder either. I just did, you're supposed to make the back a bit longer than the front. And I only made it a little bit like, um, so part of the, the design is a double crochets and then like a popcorn cluster stitch or whatever. I'm not even saying that right. Like you were supposed to do, um, two rows less. And I counted the double crochet and that popcorn thing as a row. So then I didn't do two of those. So I didn't do four rows when you were only supposed to not do two rows. So those are the kind of little bits and pieces that are different on this, but um, I really like it and I hope you will too. So hang on. All right, guys, this is take two for me because I lost all the footage from after I tried on the sweater and finished my video for you. So it's later in the day, um, but I still have a moment or two of sunlight. <laughs> Ta-da! What do you think? You like the pattern? I love the pattern with the lines here and then your little bobbly guys. So I tried to get the number of stripes to kind of work out along the sleeve. I think it works. I think it works. I also did a row of double crochet along the bottom and I did a couple of decreases so that the hemline, you know, the base of the sweater would be just a little bit tucked in. Um, so yeah. What do you think? All right, so I hope you enjoyed the sweater. I absolutely loved making it. Um, I could say that it worked up a little bit quickly, except that I had to frog here and there, you know, trying to figure out the sleeves. I, I think I had made the sleeves much longer before I realized, and then I took them back a little bit. So don't be afraid to try, you know, a pattern that you really like and change it up a little bit. I, I loved making it. You know, it's always fun to see a picture of something and go totally different from that and still love the project. <laughs> All right, guys, here's my sweater. I hope you enjoyed your time with me today. Have a wonderfully blessed day and please come back and see me again. Thank you. Bye bye.